You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work.
This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. And now for a special word from Chairman Rockwell. Greetings, hard-working citizens of Halcyon. In these profitable times, we need only look to one another to find examples of honest labor and earnest work ethic. But there are those who cheat and swindle their way through life. It breaks my heart to see the fruits of your labor stolen by these vagabonds. One such man is Phineas Wells. The board unanimously decided that in the interests of protecting our best assets, that's you, we are substantially raising the reward for his arrest. If you have any information regarding his whereabouts, do your civic duty and come forward. Until then, my friends, keep working and we'll keep paying you. Farewell. This has been an official message from our hard-working chairman. Such an honor for all of our listeners. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news that's fit to broadcast. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient, or an oven, just like store-bought. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... More of flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Do you know Edna, over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway, and Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy.